The brawl that broke out at a hockey game over the weekend started years ago for some of the players because you'll find out they've been fighting for survival for years. Alan Janae takes us to a game that was anything but normal. It looked like the typical start of a game featuring weekend warriors. But this is the land of the brave. Each wearing a jersey marked survivor. I survived a germinoma brain tumor. I survived a car crash, don't know how. I had cancer at 14. Hodgkin's lymphoma, stage four Hodgkin's lymphoma. Spectronic brain injury playing hockey in Durango. Rhabdomyosarcoma. Colon cancer. I just had surgery five weeks ago. And here, me and my buddies kill. Even the refs know this is a game. I sure had a brain tumor removed. Like no other. It's a whole different world out here on the ice. That it was. Not the fastest hockey you'll ever see, but maybe some of the most rewarding. This is the greatest experience that any of us can have. Really? To, to, to be survivors and to be able to play with everybody out here. This is the fifth year that Dog Nation Hockey Charity has put the game together on the weekend of a big tournament that raises money to help the survivors. Breast cancer, skin cancer, and cervical cancer. Flesh-eating bacteria in two spots. And liver, liver tumors last year. I'm Dave Chamberlain, and I am a prostate cancer survivor. The really neat thing is we've only lost one guy to, to cancer, and that was two years ago, Kim McLeod, my friend. I'm wearing green in his honor. One survivor didn't play, Cody Beekman. We're forever connected, and it's a beautiful thing. He was a hockey player who called a roommate for a ride when Cody felt maybe he'd had too much to drink. And in a twist of irony, on the way home, Cody got hit by a drunk driver, and that paralyzed him for life. So it was a pretty, pretty rough, rough time for Cody. Cody and his emotional mom got a big check to help with rehab. Every one of these people are my brothers and sisters, no matter if we know each other or not. He'd love to be out there where you glide along and you forget about your problems. A place where people around you know just what it's like. Thank you, sir. You made my day. In Littleton, Alan Janae, CBS4 News. Nice job, man. Thanks, Alan. Nice to see Avs announcer Peter McNabb out there with the troops. The Dog Nation tournament over the weekend at the Edge Ice Arena raised $120,000. Since it started five years ago, that wonderful charity has provided about three quarters of a million dollars to hockey players and their families affected by illness or tragedy.